Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So, I made this workbench. Now I want to do three upgrades to it to make it much more usable. So first, I want to make it easier to move around. So what I've got is these casters for it. Now, of course, they need assembling. So that's the first job to get them put together. But I will come to regret this later on. So it has a template to attach the legs. It marks the floor on the bottom, but it has a dotted line. So I think I'm going to trim that off so the floor is right at the bottom. Then I can drill pilot holes through the marked holes. Now, I think I got carried away putting these legs together because there's no access to the bottom screws. So I'm going to actually take the caster off attach the bracket and then put the wheel back on. I'm pretty sure the instructions didn't mention this, but I'm going to come to curse the instructions in a bit. Right, so that's a caster in each corner. So now the bench is nice and solid on its legs. It'd be even better when I fit a shelf and put some extra weight on this. But if I want to move it, I just have to push down on these casters and then I can wheel it around. So I felt the casters were just touching the floor slightly when it was supposed to be on the legs. So you know that template I cut the little slither off? I don't think I should have done that. I'm going to blame the poor instructions but either way I've made the mistake so you don't have to. So I went around, took all the wheels off and moved them up a couple of mils and now it works great. So let's hope upgrade two goes better. So upgrade two is if I was cutting some sheet goods, a full sheet would hang over the edges by a foot. Now having some extra support would be a nice idea. So I've got some of these folding shelf brackets and I've got the scrap I trimmed off this bench. So the plan is to get these brackets screwed to the side. I want to get these brackets mounted so when the ply is on, it's going to be flush with the top. So I'm going to clamp this long piece I've got to the top of the bench. Then I can push a scrap underneath up against it, push the bracket up against that and get it screwed in. Now the brackets came with some really long screws and plugs for attaching to walls, but I just used some wood screws to go into the bench. So I can now get this bit of ply put into place and some screws driven in from underneath. Now I did think about marking the edge so I knew where the brackets were but I think after a few times I wouldn't just know where to put my hands. Now the last job, just to give it a coat of stain to tie it in with the rest of the bench. Now these definitely aren't the strongest brackets. I bought the cheapest ones available, but they're gonna be fine for catching an off cut while cutting some sheet goods. Now I might add some extra strips of wood underneath just to brace them a little. But if you actually wanted to do this to make your workbench bigger, probably better quality brackets and thicker wood is needed. Right, two down, last thing to do, a bit of vice. So I've got this style of vice because I think it's going to be so easy to fit on this bench because the underside of the table is flat. This just needs four holes drilled and bolted to the underside. This is a seven inch vice and it fits perfectly in the little gap between the legs. Now I didn't actually plan that. So I'm going to get it clamped into place, then I can drill the pilot holes and get some coach screws with washers put into place. I drill some four mil pilot holes and then these coach screws I have, I think they're M6s. So I get a ratchet out and get them put in.
So for the jaws of the vise, I've laminated a couple of bits of birch ply together. And I've taken the front of the vise off so that I can mark out the holes and get them drilled in this. So I've got the holes drilled for all the components, plus a couple of mounting holes which I've drilled deep on one side so the bolts can go in. So now this can get put on, lined up, and then that front plate bolted back into place. Now with my other vise, I added some leather to the front of the jaws and that worked great. So I probably will get around to doing that to this one as well. I've got some 22 mil oak dowel, which is gonna fit in here as the handle perfectly. And then to cap it off, I've got some little oak door pulls, draw pull thingies and they've got a dowel screw in, so I just need to find the centre of this dowel, drill a pilot hole and get them screwed into place. Time to give this vise a little test. So I've got a scrap of pine and get clamped up and take some shavings. The vise holds it nice and steady and the bench doesn't move. So we'll call that a win. So that's it all done. Now I've got a bench that's really easy to move around, a nice extension wing. It locks solid in place with these casters and it's got a nice vise on it. So there we go, one workbench with three upgraded features now i'll put links down below to where i got the casters from the shelf brackets and the vice all on my amazon affiliate link so any purchases are greatly appreciated so thank you for watching thank you to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos